You know, after 850 flips and doing 100 deals last year and being very active in the market, I have put together a list of the top five things I think that you have to do to be successful as a real estate investor, and they're probably not what you think. Number one I'm gonna tell you is get educated. Get educated. Figure out what area of real estate you wanna you want to specialize in and get educated in that field. Here's my warning to you. Please pick a mentor, a guide, a coach, someone that's actually experienced in real estate investing and not someone experienced just for a few deals or not just somebody experienced in this hot market because this hot market can cover up a lot of mistakes. People make a lot of screw ups and have a lot of fundamentals that are off. And I'm telling you, this market will cover that. But what you want to find is somebody like Amber and I who've been through all different types of markets. We've been doing it for 15 years, been through the bad markets, the good markets, the great markets, the ups, the downs. We have to know because there's different ways to make money in every area of real estate investing in every certain type of cycle, right? Economic cycle. But you have to know what those things are and having the right coach or the right mentor can guide you. Someone who just has experience in today's market is not going to be a great coach for you for the long term. So whoever you choose, whether it's Amber and I or somebody else, just please make sure they have experience, not somebody just claiming to have experience online, but make sure they actually have real life, long term experience and have the tools in place to actually help you. But get educated, whoever you choose to do it, right? Get educated on what you want to do. Number two, pick a lane. Pick a lane. What does that mean? There are so many ways you can be successful as a real estate investor. And if you start to look it up, you get overwhelmed very quickly. Amber and I specialize in single families. We do four main things in single family. We fix and flip houses, we wholesale houses, we do long-term rentals, and we do short-term rentals. That's what we specialize in, but we started in one area. If you look online right now, you'll say to yourself, wow, I, can, I see I can buy notes, I could buy tax liens, um, I could do foreclosures, I could do uh, subject twos, I could do sandwich lease options. There's all these different ways to make money in real estate, and they work. All of them work if you find, you know, if you find that's your niche and that's what you want to do, they work, but you've got to pick a lane. You've got to pick one. Whenever I first got started, all we did was flip. We did the stuff you see on HGTV. Found an ugly house, fixed it up, and flipped it. We focused on that for probably the first two or 300 deals. We got really good at that, and then we started to wholesale, and then we started to buy rentals. I do wish I bought rentals earlier, but that's what we did. And in the past two years, now we have a big, strong fleet of short-term rentals as well. I say that because we focused on the flipping and that gave us the skills to go forward with everything else. So pick a lane that works for you, what speaks to you, what you want to do. You say, Glenn, I want to do commercial. Well, then go do commercial, right? Whatever you want to do. I want to do syndication, go, but pick one. Don't be in 10 different things because you'll be successful. A person that chases two rabbits will never catch either of them. But if you chase one rabbit, you're going to increase your chance of, of catching that rabbit a whole lot more. Number three, number three, commit your time. Commit time to your future. Do you know, if you don't commit your time to your future, nobody else will. I have some stark reality for you. Nobody cares about your future but you. Nobody cares about it but you, and no one's gonna do anything about it but you. What you do today will affect you tomorrow. I'm raising my kids, and I've got you know kids in the 20s, and 10, I have lots of children, right? We're, we're from seven to 30-some years old, but my kids, my daughter's in high school now, I keep saying, listen, what you do today is gonna affect you tomorrow. So be thinking about how you wanna commit the time. You say, Glenn, I don't have time. I'm gonna challenge you and say, you do have time. We've all got 24 hours in a day. It's what we choose to do with that time that determines what our tomorrow looks like. If a good friend came to school, came, came to see you, let's say you had a, a friend from high school or college, and it was really somebody you hadn't seen, you loved them, right? You party with them, you had a great time, and they pop into town and said, hey, I'm in town for the week. Would you find time to be with them that week? You bet you would, right? You would find time to be with that person that week because you make time for things that are important to you. What if someone in your family got sick? What if one of your kids got sick or your spouse or mom or dad and you would take time off to take care of them? Would you do it? Of course you would because we make time for things that are important to you. So my, what I'm telling you is please make your own future important to you because it will not be important to anybody else like it's important to you. So make it important to you. That's number three, commit time. Number four, get mentally prepared for battle. Get mentally prepared for battle. And you say, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Look at, you'll always hear me in any type of workshop you come to or seminar or speaking, I have never said that what we do is easy. And I can't stand people online that always say, oh, it's a piece of cake, follow my system, whatever. What we do is hard work, but it's worth it. It's hard work, but it's worth it, right? Nothing in life worth anything was ever easy to achieve, was it? 
nothing that you have in life that's worth anything was ever easy to achieve. And so it's going to take a commitment. But more importantly, it's going to take dealing with this. You know why? You're dealing with big numbers. You're dealing with six-figure and seven-figure numbers. All of a sudden, you're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt you're taking on, or maybe it's millions of dollars. And all of a sudden, you're dealing with people that are very volatile and they're very emotional about money, and sellers get pissy and buyers get pissy and contractors get upset. And all these things cause all kinds of emotions that happen. And all of a sudden, some people crumble under that pressure and they never go forward and reach their goals. You've gotta be mentally prepared for battle. You've gotta be ready for it. How do we do that? We have coaches. We actually also help all of our students get peak performance coaches. So not just a real estate investing coach, but a peak performance coach, people that help them deal with that. People say, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. I know, I've done this for a long time. I understand what it takes to be successful. And if you can't win the battle up here, you'll never win the battle out there. So you've got to make sure that you have somebody to help you because business is 80% mental and 20% the mechanics. So be prepared for battle mentally. And last but not least, take action. You've got to start now. Stop being the person that sits around and talking about it. Oh, it'd be so much fun to flip. Hey, honey, did you see that show? We could do that. We should do that, honey. You ever have those conversations? You hear that around the table or around dinner, or around holiday dinners? Maybe you're off the bar with friends and people say, we should do that. We could do that. Hey, stop talking about it and actually go out and do it because nothing's going to happen for you until you do it. Action equals results. Massive action equals massive results. And that is it. That is my top five. I know from experience, go do it for yourself. Amber and I have been able to change our lives through real estate investing. All I can tell you is this. We help average people, everyday people, create wealth through real estate investing. Go out and do it for yourself. It's an awesome ride.